Okay, I think you're gonna need two, two containers for color mixing. Uh, I did, I did a little uh, test on this because, you know, this isn't my kind of thing. Uh, and so this is, this is the little building. How does it look on TV? Maybe it looks, although that doesn't look so awful there. Okay, so we're going to mix some color. I didn't quite get what I wanted there, but I got close enough that I went through with it. Okay, so here we have it again. Uh, so I mixed some color. Let's talk about color first. And let's talk about dots. Oh, yeah. Lots and lots of dots and dots. Oh, I thought I had more than that. Okay. So where is, oh, here it is. Here's where I mix some colors. This is really, I've got a different light on. This is really a lot grayer than I was thinking it was. Uh, these posts are pretty red, but this is a lot grayer. I've got some color mixed here. I tell you what, let's we're gonna continue mixing into this because I don't want to throw the paint out, but I'm gonna tell you what it is and um and I'm gonna alter it a little bit while I'm at it. So basically I use three colors to work with this. Uh and now I'm thinking I probably could have used a little bit of indigo too. So I started out, my base was uh, Quinberg Scarlet. And you know, there's more than one way to get here. I don't want anybody to think that I'm saying this is the way and the only way. There's never just one way. Okay, more Quin Scarlet. And guess what? More Quinn Scarlet. So I've added to, to my other already existing color. Now here's the thing. I'm using Cheap Joe's uh, Naples Yellow. And it's, it's, it's pretty light. It's got a lot of opacity. And that makes it a little more building appropriate, I guess. Let's put a little bit of it into this one. So I'm making a light one, a medium one, and a dark one is what I'm working at. This isn't right, and this is this is too red, this is too yellow. Okay, we'll pick up just a little bit more. Naples, and because Naples is a very opaque color, it doesn't take a lot to have a lot of influence. And I don't care if I get a little in over here or not, either way. So now we need some blue. And I think, I, I've been using Cerulean, but I think I'm going to just switch off right now. Uh, let's try a little ultramarine. What I'm looking at here is I'm looking at, and I realize that the color that y'all are seeing is not the same colors that I'm seeing. I've, this is still way, way more red. I'm, I'm looking at this as being a color for that. Uh, so let's, let's uh, cool it down. Whoa, 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 oh, that's cooler. Uh, pretty red. Well, let's see, because, oh, okay. That's actually better than what I had before. Of course, it's not dry yet. And then I need a dark. 
And I think for that, I'm gonna to go to the indigo. Oops. So if you wanna get a lot of color up, you need to pre-wet them. I didn't pre-wet that indigo. Now that's a little thin. I want it more concentrated. See, this is a different color, but it's not any darker than that. It's not any darker than that because there is too much water in it. So I need more concentrated paint in here. And in order to be able to get more concentrated paint out of your palettes, you need to have color that has been wet down previously enough that you can just get color up that doesn't have much water in it. Well, that's just redder, it's not really darker. See, that's where I didn't plan ahead. Maybe by the time I get around to using this, it'll have dried some, we'll see. Now, this color is totally not right. This is an orange. And we want... I saw this as having a lot of yellow in it. Compared to the others, I guess it did. But it doesn't have that much. So let's put a little cerulean in it for starters. Ooh. Huh. Hmm. Let's see what that looks like. That's in the family of what I want. I'm not going to make a big deal out of getting this perfect. I never do. So, so there's my light, medium, and dark. It'll be dark when it's more concentrated. And then we need a gray because we also have a color here. I doubt y'all can see this. We also have a color here that is, it's just a warm gray. Am I holding it where it shows? Yeah, it's just a warm gray. And that is this trim. But it really needs, even though it's, it's awfully close in value to the rest of this. So it's got to have a different color. It's just not going to count for anything at all. And I think there we could take that indigo. You know, my, my, my quickie formula. Oops. Yeah. Is indigo and a little burnt umber. My burnt umber's been wet a lot lately. Let's see what that does. Um, hmm. Do I want that a little cooler, a little more blue? You know, that's not far off, but I think just a little more blue is going to read better. And we're going to be putting this on pretty thin, I know, so we're going to need quite a bit of water. This just looks like a dull gray. Oh, uh, mm, I think, I think I could live with that. I think that'll show up pretty nicely. Okay. So all I can say is that when I start on this, it looks kind of depressing to me anyway. And then as I get some darks in there and start to clean it up with some detail, it begins to come together. So don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. So I'm just going to start off painting this gray in. 
And I'm seeing this as, as a one-week project. I mean, I'm planning to finish the whole thing tonight. I also am putting a call out for... Now, that area there is lighter. And it, it, the color on it actually looks different. Let's... Yeah, there we go. We're, we're going to paint this in thin, at least for now. I know that it is the same colored stuff, but the light that's hitting it's different. So, I am putting a call out for people to send in photos that they would like to paint. I'm particularly interested in possibly some fall flowers or Christmas flowers. Uh, maybe someone's got a red amaryllis or something. Uh, but here's the thing. What? Oh, here. Let's paint the shadow on the clock. And I think I want to make the shadow on the clock a little stronger than the shadow really is on the clock. Just, just a little bit more enough of a shadow to make it pop. Just a little bit more. Okay, that pretty much is just a line across here. Not quite. That'll dry light enough. And then the the hands on the clock, one of the hands, is casting a shadow off down here. Funny. Very funny. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, okay. I'm going to paint in this area here. And you can see I didn't draw the whole thing because I really didn't want to paint the whole thing. Uh, this is just sort of a quick exercise. That being said, quick exercises work a lot better if you, if, if you take time. Um, so my people in the, uh, that were doing the lighthouse, which I was a little bored and frustrated with, they they got down and got to work on it and did some beautiful work. What I should probably do is cut this off, the time the, the camera off, and go ahead and paint this and then turn it back on. Okay, so this looks terribly dark because it's on white paper. And I was disturbed and I thought, oh, it's just too dark because that's what your brain tells you. But sure enough, when I put the little dots on it, I don't know if you can see that or not, but know that you need to have some dots cut out. Okay, so, and I put dots on this. Oh, that's way darker than this. So I'm certainly not too dark. I've also got these other dots out here so we can compare. I have two sizes of hole punches because I'm so well equipped. Yeah. Okay, so let's take that half inch brush, I guess. And let's see what we can do. We need to start out, I'm gonna move the gray out of the way. We're not through with it, I'm sure. Uh, so, I don't know about this, my light color yet. I haven't really tested it. Let's test it down here. It's a little bit dark. Looks a little bit too orange yet, too. Uh, I think I better dry this to see. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm got to stir that paint up here because it settles out. So uh, I'll go ahead and put my three colors down. And we'll check them with the um, with the dots after I get get this dry. Well, darn. 
uh, you weren't here for that. I messed up. All right, so I am taking this color of paint right here. I add just a little more water. And see, I'm stirring it up because they settle out. Some mixtures do that. And I'm going to just paint in. Trying to be careful here, which is hard for me. Very hard. Let's see. But I did want to keep these these decorative areas uh, gray. At least some of them. Put my brushes in the way. Or am I on camera? Yeah. See, some of these grays are going to be in deeper shadow than others. So we'll also have to change some of them. Okay. So as you can see, of course, I did not... This is just a little piece of a building. Here's another way to do those in between those dentals. Dentals. I learned that from Charlie Neiman, of course. He taught me another new word that I can't remember. We'll get around to it one of these days, though. Oh, dear. See, I painted right over my window. I really didn't want to do that. You, you notice, I'm, this paint is still fluid. This is fluid enough that... Okay, here we go. This, this stays fluid enough that I don't get a bunch of, well, maybe I do, a bunch of ragged places. Okay. There. I'm going to add a little bit here. I don't know if that's where it just dried when I was messing up or what okay so we have that oh lovely okay this is dry enough up here that I'm going to go ahead and mess with this which I think is really interesting uh you notice how bright blue that is now some of that is the camera is probably exaggerating that just a little bit um because our cameras are kind of set up to do that but this is a white, and it's up here, and it's reflecting the sky. And why it's reflecting this part blue at us from this curve, I really don't know. I assume it has a good reason. So, just do a little of that, and then... We've got to have a soft edge on this. I just stay amazed at these guys that paint these buildings. and Oh. But a, a lot of them, 
really take a whole lot of the detail out, which I'm going to take a lot of the detail out too, but I probably don't do it as artfully as they do. Uh, so let's take a little, let's go back to our gray right here. Let's pick up a little blue and make more of a blue gray to go up in here. There's some kind of shadow stuff on a statue. Of, I'm sure it's a statue of a person. Darn it, I think they're holding a sword. Well. And then there's this cap thing that's it's setting on. Well, that's too dark. Although I kind of like it that dark because it would show up against the sky, but it's not going to look like it's white. So we got a, ooh, it still didn't take up enough. Is that a little water there? Okay, we can live with that. Okay, drying time. So I'm going to keep this little spot right up here, I'm going to keep that white, I think. Part of the facing on the clock and the front of the statue. That's probably probably the only whites that'll be left. Okay, so let's see. Now here's where we really have to start thinking. Um, this has, by the way, this has some little decorative thingies there. Charlie will have a name for them, but I'm just going to call them thingies for now. Okay. Oh, by the way, on that gray, I just saw another place. There's a little shadow of gray from the side of the clock right there. I'm getting it too dark better if it was a little bit lighter. Okay, there. Yeah, I like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my dark color. I'm going to put these in. And part of the reason is I would like to just have something dark here uh, to gauge by. That's letting down too much water. Because it would take for, it, it's not because it's too much color, but because it would take forever to dry. Oh, well, all I have to do is turn the video off. It's not like I have to keep you waiting, is it? Okay. These little deals. So they're going to look really dark right now. And they've got a little bit better shape than... I just made them little rectangles. They've got some little shape that probably means something. I don't know what. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's turn, turn this off for a minute. I may have to divide this up into two sections to get it to load better uh, on, onto YouTube. Uh, although I've been having pretty good luck with it lately. I think I've learned a little bit better how to make it work. I need a new computer, that's part of the problem. Okay. But I don't want a new computer because I don't want to have to relearn it all. All right. So there's my medium color, remember? So where could we put it? Well, we put it everywhere that's not light. So look at this side over here. We can put it on everything over here, except except the clock facing. Oops. Okay. And, oops. Okay, 
This area right here is darkened in shadow. And this area right across here is actually a little bit lighter. But you know, again, I'm not going to pay too much attention to that situation. Now, there is a shadow up here. You know, that's some more of that gray stuff. Well, I'm just treating it like it's not gray. I'm lazy. We'll, we'll let it be lighter for a minute and see how it goes. I think this is just too much for me. I'm gonna have to use a little brush. Okay, let's come across here. And a little further down on the facing on the clock. And goes kind of straight across and down there. Okay, here we go. Got it mapped out. There. Okay. I'm happy. See, it's looking geometric and it's it's doing what I need it to do so far. Okay, all under here. Now, if you work wet enough, Then, okay, like I could go straight across where those dentals are and across like this. And then I could come back, turn my brush sideways this way and just use the corner of it. And because again, I'm working with very fluid paint, see it, it makes a solid, it doesn't go and, and well, it's, it's not gorgeous shapes, but anyway, it made something. All right, now, here's, here's where I get into trouble. That's definitely going to have to be darker. Yeah, I kind of messed up those shapes. Oh, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. What do I want to do here? I'm going to ignore these little things right for right now. And I'm going to just follow. Let's just thin this out just a tiny bit. I just add a tiny bit more water. Okay. Let's uh, see where all those shadows are. Hmm. Yeah. That's just real fun. Maybe that's a little too wet. So I've kind of made a little um, thing going along here where these shadows are. And that's where it turns the corner. Whoops. Or not. Okay. Uh. And then ever so often there's one of these. And then there is a shadow over here cast like this. Oh, 
there's another shadow and a shadow right there. Woo! Doesn't hurt, it wouldn't hurt to study this a little bit before you do it. There. Okay. I'm good with that. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I didn't draw any. Oh, here's the dentals here, and oh, there's supposed to be more down here. And there's more to these shapes than this, but this is the simple graphic that I'm using. See, this may not even be dark enough eventually. And, so what do I want to do here? Uh, see, these are warmer shadows a little bit. You know, there's some of them have got more red in them. And then when we come down here, where there's not as much light being cast, and we've got this other color... The one that I have planned to put on top of some things, that is, I was going to put it on top of this one, but some of it I may just put it directly on top here. This isn't what I did last time. Well, actually, I don't remember what I did last time. There's some other little, little shape right there that's a shadow. And then there's something coming up here. And we reach the edge of a wall. So I can stop right there. I hope I've got the camera on this time. Here and down to here, and you got to work fast enough, or have the paint wet enough that that this all feels like one shadow. And this whole side over here is even darker. Okay. Hmm. Now these little ditties here. Uh. They're like shapes between the stones. They're fairly strong, and they should match the shadow there. In fact, right where it comes out of the shadow, they ought to be as one. Okay. Now, unfortunately, that's not really where that stopped. This is, you know, now that I'm looking at this building, this is more complicated because it, 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 it has all kinds of shapes in it. Uh, here's, a, here's another area that sits back behind. This window sits further out than that window. And I don't even pretend to know what all I'm looking at right now. Uh, so I have some discolored dentals down here. Yeah. Stained teeth. See, and this is just where it ends. Okay. 
It's not too bad. Uh, shouldn't do that. Dumb. Don't do that. Okay. Now, some of these areas are still darker. Go in here with the, the, I'm using that darkest value. And right in under the dentals, there's more shade. I really like these building with these little dental things. And I really like showing off that I know the name of them is a dental. Because they're like teeth, because Charlie said so. Okay, now it's not that starkly darker. It's darker, but it's not that strong. What about if we just gently? Ah, there we go. Now there's other stuff. There's a lot of shapes in here that I'm not going to try to do. Wow, there were two, two of these strange, uh, these triangular shadows right here. And I missed and only got one of them. I just now saw that. Do you think that anyone looking at your picture is going to look at it and say, you know, there should be another shadow there? No, they're not. We'll put it in anyway. Again, that might be a little bit too much darker. And I do, I, I do this sometimes to, um, oh, okay. So we have these dentals that are too light colored, aren't they? So here's my gray. And all I have to do is make some of them darker. Now, this area right here is going to be darker for sure. You know, another way to pull that up, too, is to squeeze this out and pick it up like that. This is just where I put a whole lot of wet paint on. And by heaping it up, it became very dark. Um, these are just too bright. I'm going to use a little bit weaker color here, though. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, it's about that dark, actually. Up here, it's not. It's 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 got a lot more light hitting it. I'm sure it's the same color structure. So we're just barely toning it with... Oops. We're just going to barely tone it with any more color. Got that spot too dark. If it doesn't work out, we'll blame it on the builder. I think that that could get a little darker. You know, again, some of this is, do you want to do it? Do you want to bother with it? Uh, you know, I would rather use this than down because it's more of a grade. This is more of a grade color. So... You know, I could, for instance, take some of this and put it over here, like that, and add water to it so that I thin it down. It's almost a purpley gray. And then I could come up here and I could add a little bit more detail and shadow if I wanted to. 
You know, you might be just wanting to give the impression of a building without overdoing it. So, uh, now right here, I want a really dark area because it's already pretty dark over there. And that's a little edge that would be in shadow. Maybe it's a little too dark. Let's let's suck a little of it up. This is, is this is a brush that's not great at sucking. You know, little things like that. Okay, so the thing is that it's the little darks that can be the prettiest sometimes that, that really pop something. So what I'm going to do is um, let's let's start out with let's start out with ultramarine. Let's see what we get. Well, I've got some I've got some uh, um, cerulean here. I'll just add ultramarine to that. Yeah, that might be about right. These two windows look very blue. Well, they don't look that blue, do they? But they look pretty blue. So, let's start out by putting blue in there. And then, gee, maybe if we just add some gray to it. Uh, I think I ought to glaze that gray on. Okay, I'm going to dry this. Oops, I'd forgotten to turn it off. Okay, because I don't know how to edit. So now let's add some little bits of black. So I've got my black pretty wet, pretty well, so that I can get some, some black that's going to come off the brush easily. See, it's flowing off, but it's pretty strong. You just have to get the right consistency. That's all it is. Okay, so let's practice first. Let's put the trim on these windows. Go like that. And there's some little bit of a, you know, where you, where you can raise the window. So let's just Let's not overdo that, but let's hint at it. Um, oh, and then the most important part of the whole thing, the clock. Okay. You have to practice drawing a clock and remembering what real clocks look like. So when you go in for your Alzheimer's test, you can draw one. <laughs>
This has got Roman numerals on it, which I can't do here. But I put a little stuff on there. And then this little guy over here. I guess they need to say the same time. Okay. So what else could that clock need? You know, if I did any like little bits of clean up here, just to emphasize an area, I'd want to do it very, very carefully, very subtly. I did that. Um, there's actually a, a low place in here. <gasps> Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to use the dark stuff, not the black. Kind of a little indentation here. Whoop, it didn't go all the way down. Darn it. There's my, there's my black paint right there. Close enough. Okay. So, you do all that. You do, um, I never did clean up this side of the window. That's just my dark shading. It's not my black. Okay. Uh, you know, you could come back with this dark and just do little extra bits of this and tw tweaking here and there. I'd be careful not to put too many lines in it though. And then you need, you need some birds. Everybody needs birds on their building, you know, or on a wire or flying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the lazy way out and make them flying. Here's one sitting on a building. Yeah. His buddies are all up in the air. They're all coming in for a landing. They're going to roost. Oh, look at that. I put those just opposite each other on that building. Don't do that. Okay, that was it. I'll send this out. Uh... I'll text this out to you, so you have a so you have a better a better a better visual of it. Okay. Have a good week. I hope you enjoy.